Hey everyone, this is Lolo Reddy from Abstract Music Lab and today we're recreating the plug from Christoph Sanyoto's track called Out of Reach and it sounds like this. I'm really happy with this recreation and as usual you can grab it here in the description below or you can buy me a coffee in the description below. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, it really helps support the channel a lot. If you have any recommendations for the channel you can leave it here in the comment section, I love the challenge. But let's get down to business and let's go to the sound design. So starting now with the sound design we're going to choose oscillator A, we're going to use a default wave and oscillator B, we're going to choose a basic shapes sine wave and it sounds like this. Now we're gonna modulate the sound, we're gonna shape the sound with envelope one and envelope two. For envelope one, we're gonna leave the decay at 1.30. And the sustain, we're gonna put it to minus 19 dB. And the release, we're gonna leave it to 373. Envelope two, you guys just gonna use for modulation, we're gonna use the sustain all the way down. And the decay, we're gonna put it to 1.05. Now to the filter, we're going to choose MG low 18, A and B. The cutoff, we're going to leave it at 200 Hertz. Now the resonance at 10%, the drive at 15%. And we're going to use envelope one and envelope two to modulate the cutoff. So envelope one, we're going to pick 28 of modulation but we're gonna give a little bit more of attack with envelope two. So listen to how the attack sounds with just seven points of modulation over here. Without envelope two. With. You can see it has a little bit of like a pum pum pum, a little bit more of cutoff here with envelope two on. Now to the effects section, we're gonna choose hyper dimension, hyper all the way down, mix of the dimension all the way down the size of the dimension all the way down and the mix to 59%. This is going to open up the sound a little bit without. You can see it opens up the sound a little bit. Now distortion to distortion at 61%. Now we're gonna pick a chorus, put the speed to 17% and the mix we're gonna put it to 34%. You can see it does a little bit of a wow, 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 wow. With. It helps shape the sound, gives a little bit more of character to it. Now to the filter, MG low 6. We're going to put this to 250. We're going to put the resonance to 17% and the drive to 7%. And we're going to use envelope 1 at 30 to modulate the cutoff over here. We're going to take a little bit of low end with the EQ. So put the Q to 43%. The frequency, we're going to leave it at 250. Now to the reverb, we're going to add a little bit more of decay to 5.6, low cut to 30%, and the mix to 40%. Now delay, we're going to choose both 1 8 dot. the frequency to 1700 and the Q to 5.1. You can see that I later increased the mix also to 40%. Basically that's it for the sound, but we also have an automation here with the macro number one, as you can see it over here. This is basically automating the cutoff as the original song. So we're going to just pick this and put it to the filter here in the effects section to 15. And in the oscillator section, we're going to put here and put it to the cutoff here to 30. And it sounds like this. Original. Throughout the song, I noticed that he also opens the chorus a little bit more sometimes. So if you notice that it needs a little bit more, you can put this to 
This happens specifically in this section over here, right after it drops. So that's why I feel that he opens the chorus a little bit more, but if you want to keep it at 34%, it's up to your taste. And that's it. I hope you liked the video. If you liked it, you can hit the like button. If you loved it, hit the subscribe. Leave me a comment if you have any recommendations for future videos. And I see you in the next abstract video. Ciao.